Johnny Globe website. It went to the 260,000, way over a quarter of a million hit. It's not people, it's the hit. Google Analytics said it's about 57 people was there on last six days. 57 people were clicking. And uh, clicking more than the once, so counted as 10,000 together on the month of April. That was with uh, Jimmy Nation's that singing here. Remember that? That was 130 hits and uh, several things. People start looking through. Over 10,000. I put that on the Facebook and uh, it jumped last two days. It's already over 2,700. It's like a, more than a thousand a day hit. And it's just amazing to me watching the church website. And uh, it was a joke, you know, we said, be careful, people are watching. <laughs> but it is true. I'm talking about across the ocean and everything. And that comes with the message today, the Luke chapter 22. I remember this message. Oh, by the way, so the 10,000 hit on Monday, uh, the month of April, used to, it was a thousand for the month. It will be the good month. I see the hit of the every day, we check in. <laughs> and uh, 30, 40 a day. And 30 makes, you know, 900 or 1,000. If you get over 1,000 a month, it's a good month. That's the beginning part. Trace started at the uh, First Baptist Louisville, and uh, she built up very good, and uh, they had 250 hit for the day, and uh, I started Tiny Grove, trying to do the best, and I cannot <laughs> do. It takes a little while. And the page itself don't have much. You know, made a pianist, Randy, and a song leader, and Sunday school teachers, and those things. About a few pages. Then, week after week, I put the sermon, that's one page, special, another page, and the Sunday school pictures and events, right? All the photos and uh, fishing derby, Sunday school, vacation Bible school, page after page. I didn't count, but it's over 700 pages, close to 750 or whatever. And come to think about it, I've been here five years of 52 weeks, and uh, this coming June, or late May, so someone itself has 52 times 5, that would be, what, 260 pages? And I'm repeating a lot of messages. Sometimes I just go back to the old message. And this Luke 22 is the most repeating part. <laughs> I use this from the Mount View preached. As told these things, King James it says, Jesus' word to Peter, I have prayed for thee, Peter, thy faith fail not. And I remember 
uh, among people studying this, in English, on the V is a singular and E is a plural. So Jesus saying, I prayed for you, Peter, in personal things. And another thing is, I'm not English teacher at all, but uh, Jesus saying, I'm praying for you. He didn't say that. Jesus didn't say, I'm going to pray for you. He didn't say that either. He said, I have prayed for thee. I already prayed for you, for the things to come. And that is our Savior. I've devastated for 2020, 2021. The school year is just a mess. Church service is just a mess. Finally, we will not have to wear the mask at the outside, inside, we should wear still. It's a limited part. But the same word Jesus is speaking, I have prayed for thee already. This is the time they are eating the last meal for Jesus. This is a time where this, in remembrance of me, the Lord's Supper took the praise. In the same table, disciples are asking each other, Megan, when we go to heaven, who is the greatest? Who is the closest? Just like a church parking lot. Don't you ever take in my praise on the church parking lot. <laughs> when the rain comes, the closest one, or whatever. People were talking the same thing. So I go back to the what it started here. After took this Lord's Supper, the bread and wine. Verse 23 says, They began to inquire, inquire among themselves which them it was that should do these things. And there was also the strife among them which of the should be the accounted the greatest. Accounted the greatest of the mission work or with Jesus Christ. Who? Now Jesus' answer is very unique. So Jesus said, the kings of Gentiles exercise lordship over them. They that exercise authority upon them that are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so, but he that is greatest among you, let him be the younger. And he that is chief, he that doeth serve. Or whether it's greater, he that sitteth at meat, whether he that serves, is not he that sitteth at meat. But I am among you as he that serves. Remember Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came upon the earth as a helpless child. Babe was born in the manger and the helpless babe was grown as this ministry Jesus saying I am among you as he that served ye are they which have continued that me and temptations. Hard times come, 
but you stayed with me. And I appoint unto you the kingdom that my Father has appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on the throne, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. The day is come, and your place will be there with my table, Jesus said. So the future is certain things. Then turn around and speak to Peter. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may shift you as a wheat. Oh Lord, it was storm and the darkness and this church it just shifted like a wheat last year about 12 months ago March people said don't go into the church building you cannot have congregated in the building I remember when I got the positive result of COVID during the Christmas break and I was talking to the nurse and uh, saying, I got to pick up some stuff so I can prepare the lesson, put it the online and uh, school nurse Miss Cowell said, listen, I understand your part, but uh, you cannot come in the building. You're risking the student's life. You contaminate the classroom, as far as I know, and cannot do that. Communication, it just got shut off. Listen, Miss Melissa and Kenny both is in the hospital right now, suffering with COVID. We are praying hard. They will recover. Just a few weeks ago, Miss Melissa was the one to mention Jimmy is sick. It's COVID and asking for the prayers. And then now she got and the candy got and it's not over yet on us. We got vaccinated, it is true, but that is not 100%. What is that, 95%? The sure thing, it's better probability number but the possibility is still there. So that those things coming into our lives shift you like a wheat. Going no over the place. But darkest time with the promise of Jesus Christ, it says, but I have prayed for thee and thy faith fail not. When thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Peter, you're going through a lot of things, a lot, lot of things, but I prayed for you already for knowledge of God. Predestinated I don't think predestinate as a, you have one pattern going through. Jesus knew the choice of Peter going all over the place. Jesus was himself said, Satan has a shift you the wheat going 
right, going left, all over the place, all over the choice, all over the tragedy, all over the trials. But through that, I have prayed for you. So the Peter's word, Peter said unto Jesus Christ, I am ready to go with thee both into prison or into death. I'm committed. Jesus, I stay with you. I put the job away and walk with you three years, step by step, right beside you. And Jesus said to Peter, I tell thee, Peter, cock shall not crawl this day. This day, it says, before thou shalt slice, deny and thou knowest me. I don't know you. I don't know when the time comes. Even the denial, even the denial of the faith. Turn around with Jesus Christ's presence and the run away to the darkness. But the Jesus word was still there. Peter, I prayed for you. Your faith will never, ever fail. Even you made a mistake. The faith will come back stronger. Purify. That is the power we can have. So after the pandemic, these empty seats, those blue tape and a message, you cannot sit here. Those empty seat, meaning different part of my ministry and this Piney Grove ministry. Presence of Jesus Christ, it's not come to attending the, well, it's a part of the presence is attending the church. But it's not the mass thing. It's not required. Miss Cowling comes periodic part come to the church. I can tell you she was here because the arrangements changed because part of the furniture. I visited her house and talked about how much she missed attending the church. Same time she watches Sunday morning. Same time she reads the Bible, shares this Jesus with us. So the presence of Jesus Christ is not attending the church. Oh my goodness, used to we have Sunday school perfect attendance now. Do you remember that? Every quarter we have kids name called, you have perfect attendance, you have faithful attendance. Pin after pin, you get things. The presence of Jesus Christ is getting more and more uproad. Let's get to the Hebrews chapter 4.
my back is this bad shape like, uh, oh my goodness, a long, long time ago. When I was wearing a brick, I remember when I get off the car, I can my back is not straight enough. You lay a thousand brick a day and come back house and just very move to the house. <laughs> Do that next morning get back. You know? I feel like good old days came back on my back. Alright, so Hebrew chapter 4, verse 14, I'd say. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let's hold first our profession. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into heaven of the Jesus. Our high priest is Jesus Christ. And there is no confession of windows. There is no place to sit and speak. Oh yes, that place was not confound. It was all over now. So you do that at the you do that at the job. You do that at the school, classroom. Whatever the place, you speak unto your high priest, Jesus Christ. Verse 15, For we have not high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted, like as we are, yet without sin. High priest is not stationed at the building and a small window in front of him. And the people drive up to the church and come into the place, sit on this small window and start speaking. No, it's not. Nor the high priest was not holy of the holy. Of the place belled, covered in the darkness, and sitting there quietly. And the people gave the sacrifice and hoped to be purified. Have to go to this temple and give and shed the blood time and time again. Not that the high priest now is here. High priest now is outside. High priest now is in the hospital bed. That's our Savior Jesus Christ. That's our high priest. You speak unto them boldly. It says verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find the grace to help in time of need. Sure, we are living in the darkest time. Sure, we have a lot of need. So who are you speaking to? Your counselor, your doctor, your lawyer, your accountant? All you need, but before that, let's talk unto this high priest. Overseeing everything. The person prayed for me for a long, long time ago. I said, talking to my cousin is like a timetable, time traveling, many years. But the picture I have is here, the Jesus Christ. Before I was born, before this universe was created, Jesus Christ was sitting in the darkness and prayed unto this Japanese boy. That's the picture I have. 
I have no idea when I was subway station in Tokyo. And saying to myself, I cannot go any farther. I have to change my life. In Japanese word, soldier mind, soldier mind, it's like a, there's some other way, there's some other way. Or it says, nothing like this, nothing like this. Keep on saying to me. That's 10,000 miles away. God problems. It's easy to say when you look back. But at that moment, just like 2020, 2021, at that moment, when the church is always closed, when the blue tape is all over the pew, we are in trouble of our soul. But the writer of Hebrews says, our high priest is there. When the trouble comes, talk to him, because he will be there listening. And the Paul is Saying the faith. He persuaded. He is with Jesus. Let's go to the Roman chapter 8. Just before the, my open heart surgery, Charles Deacon came over and said, quoted me this Romans 8 and 28. We know that all things work together good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. And I was just going to this open heart surgery. Mind going home. Same word, it should be on the purpose of COVID, sick bed, ventilator, and things. Ventilator is one thing. When the tube is in the mouth, you cannot speak. And, you know, I woke up with ventilator because when you sleep, when the heart is out of the body, after the machine take care of the breathing part, and they put the heart back in the body, and when you wake up, machine is doing about 60%. And when I wake up, 40%, my, I'm doing So nurse said, cannot take the two till you breathe yourself. Don't go sleep. Breathe yourself and drift away and come back and still have two inside. Actually, <laughs> personal story, I think I got a very agitated because the tube was in the mouth. Because, let me tell you that open heart surgeon, my sergeant said, we want to fix you up good, we want to put the new mortar. Because the chamber was, you know, the, between the chamber, big hole, so the blood was just circulating inside the heart, not going out of the body. Well, I did some, but so only he said was after this you got the new motor and a hundred thousand miles more to go or something. 
So I was ready to jump up after the surgery and woke up with a tube inside my arm, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, I don't know about this, but uh, I was ballistic and uh, tried to pull off the tube and everything. So the nurse called Trish, my wife, and she came over. Next time she started talking to me, when I woke up and said, it's going to be all right, it's going to be all right. This is the part of the procedure you have to go through. You have to breathe yourself to get this tube off. And not calm me down some. But those things going through the moment you panic, the moment it's hardest, and you forget Jesus prayed for you. So the Paul said, chapter 8, last two verses. Paul said, For I am persuaded. This is the one thing for sure. Neither the dead, nor life, nor the angels, nor principalities, the power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. He's speaking that from the prison cell. He's speaking that from the, after the rush, ripped through the, his back. I'm going through this pain right now, but the still, I am persuaded. Lord Jesus Christ will never separate us. It's like this, hand is hold. Not I'm trying to hold on to Jesus Christ, but the hand of Jesus Christ is holding up my hand, my life. Because Jesus prayed for you, for me already, for a long, long time ago. I am persuaded. Paul said, and this morning, I'll say, I am persuaded. Whatever the things going on right now, at your life, whatever going through your life, start get the name of Jesus Christ in your life. Because He prayed for you already. Let's all stand. Have seen the song. And before the song, let us pray. Dear Lord, we come to you together, worship you together.